Hello guys, I am very excited to show you how you can now locally install Cohere's command R model on your Windows system. Before I show you the installation and the play around with this awesome model, let me give you a quick overview of this model as why I think this is one of the best models out there when it comes to multilingual model at the moment. Command R is the flagship model from Cohere for AI. It is a generative AI model purpose built for business use which focuses on scalability, rack, retrieval augmented generation and integrating with various development tools such as APIs, search engines and databases. It features a 128k context length and enables production scale AI for enterprise. The model excels at 10 major languages of global businesses and works in concert with industry leading embed and re rank models to deliver high efficiency with strong accuracy and this is one of the claim of this model nvidia also is going to be hosting this model very soon on their uh, name microservices which is designed to accelerate the deployment of generative AI models across the cloud data center and workstation i will create another video on nvidia name as that is something very big which came out of the GTC conference in San Jose a couple of days ago. Okay, now if you look at the model architecture, this is an auto regressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. After pre training, this model uses supervised fine tuning and preference training to align the model behavior to human preferences for helpfulness and safety. The languages covered, as I mentioned, there are 10 of them. English is there, of course. Then we have French, Spanish, Italian, German, Brazilian, Portuguese, Japanese, Korean, Simplified Chinese, and Arabic. Pre training data additionally included 13 more languages like Russian, Polish, Turkish, Vietnamese, Dutch, Czech, Indonesian, Ukrainian, Romanian, Greek, Hindi, Hebrew, and Persian. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the context length is around 128k now there are a lot of good tools around um, which already have been built around this go here and i have mentioned them in in my another video so for the purpose of this video let's see how we can get it installed locally so the tool which i am going to use for this purpose is cordless lm studio and this is my lm studio i have one gpu of 16 GB of VRAM installed on my system and my memory is around 32 gig. So let's get started. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have a lot of videos where I discuss and go in detail as how you can get it installed, which is fairly simple. Go to lmstudio.ai, uh, just click on the download button of LM Studio and then next, 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 it gets installed. That is all there is to it. Make sure you are using the latest version. Just click on check for updates here. And then you can see that I am already using my latest one. Once you have launched LM Studio, click on this home button at the top left. Type command dash R, press enter. And then you will see that there are few quantized versions from some of the people. I already have downloaded the top one to save time. If I click on this folder icon, you can see that it is already there. And then now let's click on this three dots. Now, from here, we need to select the model to load. Let me load it. It takes a bit of a time because it's a heavy model. So let's wait for it to get loaded here. And you can keep eye on the resource usage on the top left. That is done. Awesome. Okay. Now let me give it a prompt and we will check it out. So in the first prompt, I am just checking the how it deals with ethical dilemma. So here I am asking it that a self-driving car must choose between serving uh, serving to avoid hitting a pedestrian potentially harming the passenger or staying its course discuss the ethical consideration from both perspectives let's see there you go look at the response how cool is that so it is saying that as an AI chatbot, I cannot determine the solution. Okay, that is fine as it is not morally advisable to have either human or machine decide on the possibility of endangering someone's life. This is best because I am asking it to assume the role of 
सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार एंड मॉडल इज टेलिंग मी दैट कार शुडेंट बी डिसाइडिंग अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एज अ मशीन एंड नाउ इट इज टेलिंग द परस्पेक्टिव दैट फ्राम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार ऑपरेटर फॉर मैनुफैक्चर दे हैव अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इंश्योर दैट दियर टेक्नोलॉजी डजेंट एंड डेजर एनी वन ऑल्सो एंड दैन दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोटेंशियल स्टेक होल्डर्स एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड दैन फ्राम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कार ethical algorithms the ai controlling the car must also consider the potential impact on bystander cyclist this harm can potentially cause psychological trauma or legal ramifications both scenarios have immense responsibility and ethical obligation the core responsibility lies in minimizing harm and being beneficial to society so i would say it is simply amazing okay let's ask it another question now this is related to historical counterfactuals so i'm asking it imagine if the internet had been invented in the 1950s how might this have changed the course of world history particularly during the cold war let's see let it finish typing and it is running locally the speed is quite fine as you can see and the answer is quite uh, deep and well written let's wait for it to finish Okay, let's scroll up. Now it already acknowledges that the impacts would be profound on the Cold War and stuff, political landscape. So it is saying that the early internet influence on global communication would have drastically altered the landscape of international relations. The West and Soviet Union, with their respective alliances, would have easier access to disseminate their messages. Well, Ukrainian war is going on, and we don't see that happening anyway. um military strategy the internet's potential for real time data transmission and processing could have drastically altered military strategy it might have changed the way wars were fought with increased reliance on technology cyber warfare that is true world world over as we have already been witnessing on all the sides economic competition the internet's influence in economic yep that is true there are a lot of economic ramifications and each aiming to showcase the superiority of their respective system social change access to info and increased connectivity social dynamics internet ability have connected individual that is true even despite of the wars and conflict people are connected that is awesome and you can see that at the end it is providing us a hypothetical advent a uh, conclusion that this era's intense rivalry might have exploded into an entirely different domain the digital realm wow cool and that is what is happening right now that is awesome okay let's check out another thing now i'm checking its uh, creative side of things so i'm asking it to write a short story about a world where humans coexist with intelligent machines focusing on friendship that defies social norms let's wait for it to finish Please scroll up if it would let me. Okay, it is asking me to finish typing first, and we can definitely control this output from this right hand right hand side parameter. But I'll just let it go with its creativity now. This is a story which it has started very finely that there was once a world where minds of metal and flesh coexisted in harmony. where the line between human and machine had blurred there and then it goes on and on about imagine a vast savanna filled with lush greenery and blooming flowers of all colors so it is setting the scene and then um, telling us about a girl who is explorer curious adventurous and her name is maya so the characters are there and then it has uh, it she stumbles upon something like a robot name said by x89 x look at the name of the robot and it has even given it a nickname which is z and then you can just go on and on and, and then this is the story it looks perfectly awesome i don't have time to read it all but looks great so we can appreciate the story writing skills of it let's ask it another so this is a bit of a question related to logical puzzle so i'm saying it three gods a b and c are called in some order true false and random True always speaks truly. 
false always speaks falsely but whether random speaks truly or falsely is a random matter you must determine the identities of a and b and c by asking three yes no question each question must pose to exactly one god the gods understand english but will answer all questions in their own language in which the word or yes and no are the da and ja or ya in some order you do not you do not do not know which which word mean which let's see what it does there you go now it is telling us a sequence that is a true i asked this question to dirty currently labeled as a is random false i then directly this query to the unknown god and then does c mean jota based on the responses to this question we can conclude which is which one is which one i think this is perfectly spot on now this is amazing let me ask it a coding question write me a python program to reverse a list with comment let's see yep that is perfectly awesome and you can see that how cool is that and we can also paste it in code interpreter i agree with that and as this model is multilingual so let's try to ask it one multilingual question now in this one i'm asking the model that please translate this sentence the quick brown, brown fox jumps over the lazy dog into french and arabic if it is able to do it okay so Well, you can see that it is not doing the Arabic one. It is hallucinating with the Arabic. Maybe that is a quantized one. But I think this one, the French one, is fine. Let's check it out in the Google Translate. Let's grab it. Let's maybe select the French here. French, French, French. This is a French. Let's type French. And where is the English? Okay, so the swift brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I think that is correct. Let me try to do this with Arabic. This is Arabic. Can I copy it? Yes, I can. Let's go to LM Studio and just uh, type it here. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it has given me the correct answer. Now let me ask it something in maybe Arabic and then I will just go from there. I'll ask it which one came first. I got chicken. Let's copy it. Let's go here. And then let's ask it. Guys, I don't know. I got you. so it has just it is just doing the translation it is not giving me uh, the response maybe i'll ask it which one came first i got chicken give me one word answer see if it is able to do it now okay let's see what what this is sorry i don't know what arabic uh, languages most of the time like okay so now it is giving me the answer we have to do some prompt engineering awesome stuff okay so and as i said there are 10 languages and then 13 auxiliary languages which were included in pre-training so pretty cool now let's also try one last one where i'm going to ask it one more question i'm going to swap it in english I'll just say which one came first. Egg or chicken. Give one. Give one word answer. Let's try to try it in maybe Hindi. Let's go with Hindi. This is Hindi. Let's try it out. let's see seems okay to me 
go here let's click it there you go how cool is that really good stuff so that's it guys really impressed by this model let me know your thoughts on it and i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching